This Chef's Kitchen podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download now at audiblepodcast.com slash the chef's kitchen. I'm making today one of my favorite all-time breads. It's a chocolate cherry bread. So what we're gonna start with is our leavener. Okay. Okay, so it's using commercial yeast, which is perfectly acceptable. So any home baker could do this? Absolutely. Oh, perfect. Okay, okay very so good. So we're gonna start by um, using some water. I'm gonna take about a quarter cup of water, mm -hmm. and into that I'm going to dissolve uh, some 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 dry yeast. dry yeast. I'm going to just activate it. I'm going to dissolve some sugar in that. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to add in some uh, bread flour. I'm just going to stir this together, and it's going to become a creamy kind of pancake yes. batter. Okay. So now I'm going to cover this, and I'm going to allow it to uh, sit in a cool place in my kitchen. Overnight. So now it's overnight, and so now this is this is what we have. Mm -hmm. So this is our sourdough starter. So it's you can see, if you look really closely, you can see mm -hmm. the very very tiny, tiny air granules. bubbles. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we're going to start by putting that into our mixer. Okay. Then we're going to add our water. And what temperature is this water? Or the it water. Matter? It does matter. It's about seventy degrees, seventy okay. to seventy four. Okay. So then I'm just going to start. Mixing that very gently, just to make sure that the starter is incorporated into the water. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to add just a little burst of, 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 of more commercial yeast. Okay. Once that's dissolved, I'm going to put the mixer on low. Okay. And then I am going to, very slowly, start adding in my flour. Again, this is, this is bread, bread flour. flour again. Very slowly with the mixer on low because you don't want it to shoot all over the place. Okay, yes. So now I'm adding in some, some brown sugar. And then on low again, okay, okay, we're going to add cocoa. Okay, so, so now, Tina, so now we put the dough, the dough is, has finished mixing. We put it into a lightly oiled bowl and we yes. put it uh, in the fridge overnight. So now uh, this dough, we're gonna turn it out into a lightly floured surface. Okay. okay, and then I have here two bannetons and these are cloth, muslin cloth lined baskets. And I'm going to take some white rice flour or you yes. can use white rice flour and I'm going to just dust and brush the inside. I'm gonna cut this in half, evenly as it possible. It looks so good even in this state, doesn't oh. it? Ah. Have you ever shaped bread before? No, I have not. It's really easy. So take this, if yes. you, would you like to try? Sure, I would okay. love to. So lift it up, okay. and I'll show you the easy way. And then, okay, you show me. Yep, yeah. and then just take, take that, okay. so just fold sort of it like over, like... and then turn it. Right. Turn it over, right, turn it. Turn it. And every time you turn it, you're gonna produce take, this corner, and take the fold corner. that corner okay, in. I see, exactly. so always fold the corner. You are natural. Once that's done, you're going to turn it over. Okay. And you're going to and you like almost grab it. place it upside down, seam up into your floured banneton. Okay. That's great. Okay. Now we are going to just cover these loosely with some plastic. Okay. And we're going to leave them out on the counter for about an hour until we see activity. Then we are going to put them into the refrigerator overnight. So now what I'm going to do, I'm ready to bake. You can see, you can test the, the bread, the loaf, by pressing, you can press that one, and you oh, want it to hold yes. its indentation. Oh, I see. There and, you go, that's perfect. that's a good sign. That means it's ready. Okay, so now I want to score the bread. So I take, um, I'd use a single edge little razor. razor blade. Yes. Okay. So I just Rustic. want to make, I just want to make very, very specific cuts. Okay. The oven is at 500 degrees. I very, very carefully slide the bread in, and now what you want to do is I need to create steam to help it expand. Okay. You want to work fast because you don't want to let all the heat out of, the, out of the oven. Right. Okay. So I just spray, 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 spray all over the cavity oven. Be careful that you don't spray your light bulbs. Yes. Yeah. But otherwise, it's perfectly safe to to to, to do. Okay. Um, and uh, if I may, um, um, orange zest goes into that uh, that dough. Okay. As well, and that uh, enhances again the chocolate flavor. Oh, And absolutely. it's wonderful with cherries. I, oh yes, I love orange and chocolate. So now, so 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 we, so, we so the loaf has been been kindly uh, sliced for us. So this? so you can see the texture of it is so moist. Oh yes, it is. It's almost like a cake. Mm -hmm. Really, it's a almost cake, like a cake. A brownie, it's a bread. Velvety. What is it, right? When you eat this, what is it? Mmm. Mmm. Isn't that amazing? That right? is not a sourdough bread. No. Even though it is, but it's not. It's not. It's delicious, isn't it? It's like a mousse, but mm -hmm. it's one. Oh, it's wonderful. It's so good. This Chef's Kitchen podcast was brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download now at audiblepodcast.com slash the chef's kitchen. Log on now for over 75,000 titles to choose from for your iPod, iPhone, or MP3 player.